In this video, we want to discuss the causes, signs and symptoms, prevention and treatment of our fuel pox in birds. Fuel pox is a highly contagious viral infection in poultry that causes painful sores on a chicken's skin. It is also referred to as avian pox, sore heads, and avian diphtheria. Fuel pox uh, can't be contracted by people from the birds. Fuel pox occurs in two forms, dry and wet pox, and while there is no cure, fuel pox can be prevented and symptoms treated. Dry fuel pox is a viral infection uh, that affects a chicken skin in non-feathered areas, most commonly the comb, wattles, face, and eyelids. Wet fuel pox affects a body's upper respiratory system, eyes, mouth, and throat, and can be life-threatening. The virus is transmitted to chickens by biting insects, most notably uh, the mosquitoes. The virus is transmitted to other chickens uh, within a flock through infected birds' feathers, feather debris, scab uh, secretions, and blood. Fuel pox is highly contagious and spreads slowly from chicken to chicken uh, within a flock. The virus can persist in a flock for months, sometimes even years. Susceptible birds can become infected uh, when hot debris is eaten, inhaled, or makes contact with the skin wounds or mucous membranes. Initial stages of dry pox include 1. Ash-colored, raised regions and wattles. Bristers evolve into large yellow bumps and uh, finally dark-colored. The scabs eventually resolve, uh, leaving scars behind. Some chickens acquire immunity, but others are susceptible to reoccurrence in times of uh, stress. The symptoms include chickens with fuel pox will often exhibit a drop in egg production, loss of appetite and uh, weight loss, lesions on the skin and in the throat, in case of uh, wet fuel pox, high uh, body temperatures, watery discharge from the eyes. The symptoms uh, generally persist uh, for several weeks in a bird and several months in a flock. Uh, let us see how we can prevent uh, fuel pox from our chickens. Practice a good bird security to avoid introducing fuel pox to your birds uh, from an infected flock on your clothes, equipment, or shoes. Quarantine a new flock are members from other farms properly. Control a mosquitoes if possible. They all chicks and unaffected adults can be vaccinated against feral pox. Uh, during an outbreak, uh, to limit the spread of the virus, clean and sanitize drinkers every day. Following an outbreak, clean and sanitize uh, the chicken structure uh, weekly uh, for a period of one month. How can we treat fuel pox in chickens? There is no cure for fuel pox, but uh, there are comfort measures that can be provided for affected chickens as well as uh, preventive measures to avoid uh, secondary bacterial infections caused uh, by the lesions. Unaffected birds can be vaccinated uh, during an outbreak. Offer tetracycline antibiotics in the water to help control secondary infections. Treat scabs with dilute iodine solutions. Apply ointment to uh, soften scabs, i.e. You can mix two tablespoons of sulfur powder with a half a cup of Vaseline. Then apply to the affected areas every day until uh, the lesions are healed. Clean chicken structure and run uh, with the objective of removing hot debris uh, from the premises. If you find uh, this video important, kindly like 
and share uh, this video might be useful to somebody outside there. Thanks for watching my video. Consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell such that uh, every time we upload a video, you get to know.